Good morning, Gold House. Um, today, what we are going to work on is our concluding paragraph to our literary essay. Um, yesterday, we worked on um, adding our own analysis to our evidence that we provided. Um, this is this is tricky if you don't use the sentence starters that I provided. So just make sure you go back to yesterday's lesson if you didn't get a chance to do it. Um, watch my screencastify and then see if you can add your own thinking to the evidence that you provided. But today we're gonna work on a conclusion for the literary essay. So at this point, I'm assuming that you have your intro your three body paragraphs, and now you are ready to type the conclusion. Um, so if I look back on my dog, Cameron, and I think back to my thesis statement about Cameron being very determined to get my attention, um, at first he was impatient, he was then obnoxious, and then he was stubborn when I was trying to ultimately give him that attention. Um, and if I were writing the conclusion about Cameron, I would want to restate um, my thesis statement or my claim and those three strong traits of Cameron. But then I wanna offer my self-realization or what I realize about the character Cameron. Um, maybe I'm going to talk about a lesson that was learned from the character um, or maybe just a theme to the story with the character in mind. Um, so ultimately, like if I look back at Cameron, I realize that deep down, he's a very loving and caring dog. Sometimes he doesn't come off that way. He just wanted my attention. And so I could, I could further um, state that Every living thing, not just everyone, every living thing needs love, um, love and attention. And so like overall, I can say my self-realization is that this character, Cameron, really just wanted love um, and that all living things in the world need love. So that is where I could say is my conclusion about Cameron. Um, it's important to know that if you look at my screen, um, conclusion writing for literary essay, I will attach this today. Make sure you use a concluding transition word to indicate to your readers that you are um, concluding. Make sure to restate that claim and the three main traits that you talked about with Squeaky. Then go ahead and think, you know, describe what you think might have been the theme or the lesson surrounding Squeaky. What is something that she learns about themselves or life around them? What did Squeaky really want? It goes back to that motivation. Um, I think she was really longing for something, and I don't want to give it away, um, but she wanted something maybe then you can roll right into your own self-realization, give your final thoughts about Squeaky and who you think they are, or comment on what Squeaky learned, okay? So here is my example um, for Will in my side of the story. So in conclusion, notice I use a transition word. Will was determined to be self-motivated, which drove him to be inconsiderate and resourceful by taking matters into his own hands. So there's my claim and those three strong traits. Will learned a valuable lesson that day. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about a lesson he learned. Screaming and crying over something insignificant was not worth being rude and inconsiderate. So I'm telling you that his actions led to something that he learned. After reading this story and analyzing the character Will, I have realized the old saying, 
it doesn't pay to cry over spilled milk rings true in this case. So I used an idiom. Um, it, you know, my parents would always say it doesn't pay to cry over spilled milk. It doesn't pay to worry about, it doesn't pay to cry about things that have happened that are insignificant, not important. Um, I further then go on to say will, I'm right here now, will would have been better off dealing with the small insignificant situation with Skip on his own rather than interrupting an adult. There's his lesson learned. Will ultimately learned that in this particular case, it would have been better to try and work things out on his own. Therefore, Will took a step forward into learning how to find justice on his own. And that's just how I concluded. I used a transition word to conclude. I restated the claim in the three main traits. I tried to elaborate a little bit, giving my own thoughts about what I thought the lesson learned or the theme of the story is. Um, and then my self-realization, my final thoughts on who I believe that character is, what they've learned. Um, ultimately, you should be giving your just final wrap-up thoughts about Squeaky when you do your literary essay on her. Um, so I just want to go into um, my screen again here. I know you can see it. Um, when I go to classwork, okay, right, stream classwork, there are a lot of you that I can see are on social media and you are not doing your work in the classroom. Um, this is a big project. This is a five paragraph essay. So if you have not been in the classroom at all, you need to keep scrolling down under daily lesson um, and start all the way over. So start with very first character traits, day two, day three, day four. All you do is click on these and then you got to scroll down. Okay. Um, as you start turning things in, I will go back and take a look at what you've done. Um, but it's a matter of you going in and doing some clicking. So please take time to do that. The five paragraph essay on Squeaky will be due on Saturday. So I'm going to give you the next couple of days today um, is to work on your conclusion, share it with me when you're finished so I can take a look at it, give you suggestions. Tomorrow, I will attach a checklist for you so that you can see what is it that you're still missing. And then ultimately Friday, you are looking to make final corrections, um, anything else that you would need to add so that I can get that essay by Friday night, Saturday morning. Um, I, it really doesn't matter to me when you turn it in. I just want to make sure that you turn in your five paragraph essay. So um, and the other thing that you will have today is this document. Um, so after watching my lesson, please go to your Google Doc literary essay of squeaky and write your conclusion when you're done with that you can share it with me if you want um, so that i can help you with that and then you have your reading log like normal and then today's journal entry so if you um, have time please respond to that turn it in so that i know that it's out there waiting for me all right that's it for today uh, 9 20 is our google meet Today, that's the only time I have. Um, 140, I will not be there today. I have a staff meeting. So I hope you guys have a great day um, and I'll see you tomorrow.